All right, so welcome back again to the channel. Today we have another question on the board. We have that x squared divided by 50 is equal to 50 divided by x squared. And we've been asked to find the value of x to this algebraic expression. All right, let's get right into it. Solution. We have that x squared divided by 50 is equal to 50 divided by x squared. Now, the first thing we're going to do is to cross multiply. So we're going to multiply x squared by x squared and 50 by 50. Now, Let's rewrite what we have right in front of us. So we have the same base on the left hand side. So this becomes x raised to power uh, 2 plus 2. And this is equal to 50 raised to power 1, 50 raised to power 1. So this is x4. This is 50, 1 plus 1 x raised to power 4 equals 50 raised to power 2. Now, we can rewrite x raised to power 4 because we know that a raised to power mn is the same thing as a raised to power mn. Okay? So if we apply this rule, x raised to the power 4 on the left hand side will become x raised to the power 2 squared equals 50 squared. Now, we're going to move the 50 squared that's on the right hand side over to the left hand side. And so what we have becomes x squared raised to the power 2 minus 50 raised to the power 2 equals 0. Now, this is looking like the difference of two squares, where we have that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b, a plus b. This is what the difference of the two difference of two squares looks like in terms of formula. And we're going to say um, this is our formula two. Now let us open up x squared raised to the power two minus fifty squared. Rewrite it into um, the form that we have in equation two. So now what we have is x squared minus 50 and we have x squared plus 50 and this is equal to 0. So now we're just going to equate to 0. Equate each side to 0. So we have x squared minus 50 equal to 0 which would be let's call that Equation 2 is our first question, was the first equation. And then we have x raised to the power 2 plus 50 equals 0 as equation 3. So let's work with equation 2 and see what we can um, discover there. So we have that x squared. Minus 50 is equal to 0. When minus 50 moves over to the right hand side, it becomes plus 50. So we can take out the plus sign. So we know x squared is equal to 50. Now, how do we find x? We can find x by. Um, finding the square roots of both sides. 
So if we supply square roots to both sides, okay, we have this cancels out. So what we have, we have x is plus or minus root of 50. And we know that 50 is the same thing as 25 times 2. We're specifically using using 25 times 2 because we know that we can find the square root of 25. And 2 is like the lowest form. That's like the simplest form. And that actually does work. So let's rewrite what we have in the square root, under the square root. We have plus or minus 25 times 2. Okay, so now this becomes plus or minus root 25 root 2. So square root of 25 is 5 root 2. So now we have two answers here. We have x1 equals. 5 root 2, and we have x2 equals minus 5 root 2. Okay, right, we're halfway there. So let's go over to our equation 3. Equation 3 states that our x squared um, plus 50 is equal to 0. Okay, if we move positive 50 to the right hand side, we have that x squared is equal to minus 50. So next thing, just like we did earlier on, we're going to supply square root to both sides. So let's try to find the square root of x squared and also the square root of minus 50. So the two cancels the square root out. We have x is equal to plus or minus the square root of minus 1 times 25 times 2. OK. Now, we know that. I squared is equal to minus 1. Therefore, i is equal to the square root of minus 1. OK? And we know that um, the square root of 25 is also 5, because 5 squared is 25. So. Now we have that x is equal to plus or minus i root of 25 root of 2. x is equal to plus or minus i 5 root 2. So now that means our x3 is equal to 5 root 2i. And our x4 is equal to, what do we have? Minus 5 root 2i. This is our x3 and our x4. Okay, so our x1 is 5 root 2. Our x1 is 5 root 2 or x2 is minus 5 root 2 or x3 is 5 root 2 i and our x4 is equal to minus 5 root 2 i these are the answers to um, our question so, if you'd like to see more math videos like this, please do subscribe to the channel. 
Thank you for watching today, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.